This is Geometry Unit 8, Day 2 Homework. This is page 749 from section 11.4. We're going to look at finding the circumference of a circle that has a radius of 6. So we'll start out with our formula of 2 pi r. The circumference is going to bring in a 6 for the radius. So the exact answer is 12 pi. And using our calculator, we can approximate that as 37.70 inches. Our next question is looking for the circumference if we know we have the diameter. The diameter is 17. So we're going to use the formula that's pi d. So d is our diameter, and that's 17. So our answer is 17 pi. And that is approximately 53.41 centimeters. Now with this fifth one, or number five, we know what the circumference is, but we're going to calculate what the radius is. So again, we're going to use the formula of 2 pi r, because it deals with radius. Our circumference is 63. If we divide by 2, we'll get 31 and a half. Divide by pi, and that gives us our exact answer for what the radius is which is also approximately 10.05 and those come out to be feet for your units for number six we're we're not given a picture for this one but we're gonna find the exact circumference if the diameter is five the circumference is pi d so our circumference should be pi times 5 so our exact answer should be 5 pi inches we're gonna find the radius if the circumference is 28 pi now watch problems like this they have the pi part of the circumference don't skip the pi part the pi is part of the circumference it makes the calculations a lot cleaner so radius again so we're going to use circumference equals 2 pi r twenty-eight pi equals two pi r we're going to divide by 2 pi and divide by 2 pi. So our radius is going to be 14 meters. We're going to find the circumference of our circle. Well, the circle is inside of the square and we're 14 along the edge of the square that makes the diameter 14 also so the circumference is pi d so the circumference is going to be pi times 14 so your exact answer is 14 pi which is approximately 43 98 and since there's no units on this you could call it just units we're going to find the circumference of this outside circle so to do that we need to know what the total diameter of this outside circle is well from the inside it's three and then two more to get to the edge so that's a total radius of five so we have a radius value. We're going to use the formula of 2 pi r. 
since r is 3 plus 5 which is or 3 plus 2 which is 5 we know our circumference is going to be 10 pi and that comes out to be approximately 3142 and again we can just call it units here we're going to find the circumference of just one of these circles so we look at it it's 10 all the way across so that means the diameter of one of these circles is half of that 10 because these two are the same this radius is the same as that radius and so forth throughout so we can either look at it as 5 as the diameter or 2.5 as the radius you can use either formula so the diameter is 5 notice I write out the formula each time and when we calculate that we'll get 3.14 times 5 approximately and that will come out to be 15.71 and again these are in units so next we're going to find the perimeter of the shaded region notice that we have six on one side six on the opposite side and we have this curved which is one quarter of the circle and the circle has a radius of three so both of those curves are apparently the same size so if we find out the circumference then we can take a quarter of it or a fourth of it and we would know what that's going to be for a fourth here and a fourth there so the circumference of 2 pi r the radius is 3 so the circumference around the whole circle is 6 pi but we want to look at that as just a quarter of a circle and a quarter of a circle which makes half the circle so if we take half the circumference then we'll take half of the 6 pi half the circumference is going to equal 3 pi so now we have 3 pi plus the 12 and with a calculator we can see that 12 plus 3 pi is going to give us 2142. And we don't have the type of units, so we just call it units. That's the perimeter of the shaded region. For number 29 we're going to take the original formula of circumference equals 2 pi r and we're going to solve for r so to do that we're going to divide by 2 pi to both sides so now r is going to equal the circumference of 2 divided by pi whenever you do that be sure that the denominator has parentheses around it to solve for d we're going to take the circumference and divide by just pi so the diameter is going to be the circumference divided by pi now if we know the circumference is 26 pi we can figure out what r is so we're going to start out with r equals 26 pi over 2 pi. The pi is cross off and we get 13. D equals 26 pi divided by pi. The pi is cross out again. We get an answer of 26. Often 
when problems want the answer to come out to be nice and clean, usually a whole number, they will make the circumference have the pi calculation part of it. Rather than a decimal, it will give you the exact answer. So when you're trying to solve, you come out with a nice clean result. For number 35, we see the diameter of this big tree is 21 feet. No. The circumference. Sorry. The circumference of this tree is 21 feet 8 inches. So now we're going to find the diameter. But notice that we have 21 feet 8 inches. We have to put that all in the same units. So what we're going to do is take the 21 feet times that by 12 inches. So we're going to get 252 inches. We're going to take our 252 and add 8 to it. So we have 260 inches. That is going to be the circumference around the tree. So if the circumference, we're trying to find the diameter, so we're going to use the formula with D. The circumference is 260 inches. We're going to divide by pi. So that would be your exact answer. But with a calculator, we can take 260 divided by the pi, and we're going to get 82.76 inches. And that's the diameter. And if you divide that by 12, you'll see that you'll get 6.90 feet is your diameter. So almost 7 feet. If this wheel has a diameter of 8 inches, then we're supposed to figure out how far does this wheel travel if it goes 87 times, rolls 87 times. So that's going to be related to the circumference. So we're going to find the circumference of one wheel, then we're going to rotate it 87 times by multiplying that circumference. So we're going to say 8 pi and we can approximate that to come out to be 2513 that would be inches now if we take that amount again use the real value in your calculator times that by 87 we're going to come up with 2,186. So that's how far that's traveled. And we can, since that number is so big, we can divide that by 12 and find out that that's 182 feet.